It's a blessed day, a blessed week in the year of riding on the strength of Christ. My name is Dumininu. Welcome to Command Your Week on Deliberate Christian Life. God is the custodian of knowledge. He knows all things, including those we're hiding, those we're pretending about, those we are enduring, and those we have failed to acknowledge. Issues of this nature are common to all of us in this fallen world. But I have a question for you. Even though God knows all about you, is he in charge of all that concerns you? Many Christians wallow in the pains of the blame game, sulking because God knows and he still hasn't done anything about the challenges they are facing. The blame game pushes some to the point where they are able to present themselves before God, but they cannot connect with him. No wonder Jesus said God is seeking worshippers who will worship him in spirit and in truth. There are so many things you are aware of, but you're doing nothing about because you're not responsible for them. The same applies to God. You might have been telling God about the challenges you're going through, but have you handed the challenges to him? To hand a challenge to God, you must have acknowledged that God is able and willing to help you. You must have also acknowledged that he knows the best way to help you, and you must be willing to accept his way of helping you. God knew about Abraham and Sarah's childlessness, but they failed to hand the issue over to him. They were receiving his promises and covenant, but they didn't hand their childlessness to him because they were still finding ways to be their own savior. They were still looking for ways to bail themselves out. That was why they could still consider bearing a child through Hagar. Telling God about it but not handing the issue to him opens us up for frustration, confusion, and complication. God knows about that pain. He knows about that disappointment. He knows about that desire. He knows about that sickness. He knows about that shame. He knows about that affliction. You have told him about it, but have you handed it over to him? I tell you today, God knows about it, but now it is time for you to let him take over. He will fight for you. He will speak for you. He will lead you. He will support you. He will empower you. He will build you. And he will give you rest. Today, make up your mind to receive his help. Yes, he knows. Let him take over. Before we proceed to taking our declaration for the week, I want you to take a moment to please like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so that you can be updated anytime we drop a new video for the edification of your soul. Please do that quickly. Thank you. God bless you. Now, let's go ahead and take our declaration. You can please say after me, this week, I acknowledge that God knows about all the bits and pieces of my life. He sees the nooks and crannies that no one else knows. I decree that now is the time for God to not just know, but take over all. I think we should take it one more time. This week, I acknowledge that God knows about all the bits and pieces of my life. He sees the nooks and crannies that no one else knows. I decree that now is the time for God to not just know, but take over all. And as we have said it, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Those hidden pains, those longings, those disappointments, that sickness, that affliction, that shame, the Lord takes over them now in the name of Jesus. He gives us beauty for ashes, oil of joy for mourning, 
garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that we may be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. He's turning our pain to joy. He's turning our sorrow to rejoicing. He's giving us more in the place of less. He's giving us gain in place of pain. God is faithful. He's taking over all. He's turning our mess to messages. He's giving us testimonies in areas we never thought they could exist. He's coming through for us. We're receiving breakthrough. We're uplifted in the name of Jesus. Lines are falling onto us in pleasant places. We have a goodly heritage. We are living our heritage heritage in Christ. Things are working together for our good. We are no more living less than the life he has called us to live. Everything is working out for our good. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Thank you for joining me today. We are Deliberate Christian Life and we are a Christian Discipleship and Lifestyle Transformation Ministry. We call the Unsafe to Salvation and help Christians to get deliberate with their journey of progressive spiritual growth until they become like Christ in word, thought and deed. You can visit us on our website www.deliberatechristian.com. We are on Facebook. Um, our handle is Deliberate Christian. On Instagram, it's Deliberate Christian. And on YouTube, the channel is Deliberate Christian. Make sure you click subscribe, share, like, and also click on the notification bell to join us every week. God bless you. See the way you love me. See the way you care for me. You carry my matter for your head, oh. In a male be not some like a little baby. You watch over me, oh. You know they use me, they play, oh. In a male be not some. Ah, ah, oh, be not some, oh. In a male be not some.